In the last week lecture session, we had discussed about the rectifier and some part of the clipper. For today's lecture session, we will discuss about rectifier and clipper. In this lecture session, there will be some example and discussion about our lecture contents today. Hopefully, all the students will listen and watch this video carefully as to understand the flow of my explanation. Okay. Similar within the previous lecture session, there will be several parts of this lecture video where the students require to answer several quiz questions based on this lecture video and this quizzes basically will be as the lecture session's attendance. Okay right let us begin the lecture. As usual. I will start my slide with listing down the learning outcome here for Chapter 4. For this lecture session, there is single outcome to be covered and achieved at the end of the lecture session by all the students. Today all the students are expected to analyze the output voltage of clipper and clamper will be our priority for today's outcome. Hopefully today, I will manage to complete the lecture session for the Chapter 4. In this Part 4 of Chapter 4, we will discuss about Clipper. Here, I will explain about the serial and parallel type of Clipper. In the later part for today, the concept of clampers will be exposed and explained as the part of subsection 4.5.4. Clipper I think you all still have the idea of serial clipper. We discussed about it last week. But for today, we will take a look at the parallel clipper diode configuration. Here, right on the top figure, there is the simplest parallel. Familiar right this figure? But here, notice that the diode is placed parallel with the VO as the output in this network. The keyword of parallel clipper is the location where the diode is placed this network. For parallel clipper produce the output VO as in the green round shaped boxes. During the first half of input VO is zero while in the second half of VO reflected similar voltage as the VI. On the other hand, the bottom figures are the one that we discussed last week. Serial clipper C the output side of the both square and triangular pulse were alternating with the parallel one. This may be a way to understand the two. Now, we will discuss about the example number 13. Determine VO for the network or the circuit in figure 20. Input is given as the VI max is 16 V alternately in each half of large T. The diode here is noted with red circle. From the figure 20, we need to determine the VO by combining DC 4 volts with the diode voltage. Firstly, we need to clear about the on and off state of the diode. Say we start with on state. Current as ID is 0 ampere will flow around the KVL and will make the VR as 0 volt. Based on the KVL here, VI is 4 volts. This will reflect to the transition level which we discussed last week. On the off state, as the circuit at the diode will be open circuit, 
the VO will be equal to VI. As we gain the VO is 4 volts in the slide number 6, we can say VO will be directly across 4 volts DC supply and the output be fixed at 4 volts. Now, to portray or illustrate the VO from VI, we need to be careful with transition level and on or off state of the diode which we gained in several previous slides. Remember the transition level is 4 volts. This level will be the new level for splitting the off and on state. For sketching the VO, we need to pull down the dotted line from VI similar to the VO. As conclusion for the example, we have first the minimum VO in first half is 4 volts. While the second half of VO is 4 volts not 0. For the example 14, we need to determine VO for the network in figure 21 with consideration of silicon diode with VK is equal to 0.7 volts. Just now in example 13, we used the ideal diode with the voltage of on state is 0 volts. Here the diode on state is 0.7 volts as its voltage Ni is 0.7. Firstly, we need to clear about the on and off state of the diode. Say we start with on state. Current as ID is 0 ampere will flow around the KVL and will make the VR as 0 volt. Based on the KVL here, VI is equal to 4 minus with 0.7 which is 3.3 volts. This will reflect to the new transition level compared to the previous example was 4 volts right. Now, to portray or illustrate the VO from VI. We need to be careful with transition level and on or off state of the diode which we gained in several previous slides. The new transition level with silicon diode is 3.3 volts. The off state here, VO is equal to VI as the open circuit is concerned here. This 3.3 volt level will be the new level for splitting the off and on state. For sketching the VO, we need to pull down the dotted line from VI similar to the VO. As conclusion for the example, we have first the minimum VO in first half is 3.3 volts. While the second half of VO is 3.3 volts not zero until the full T cycle. Based on the both types of clippers, here we can simplify it with the conclusion table. For the simple series clipper, we have two types of out voltage which is depends on the diode direction in series circuit. When a DC supply is attached to the diode, the VO may be added or subtracted the DC supply. We have four cases of having the biased series clipper. For the simple parallel clipper, we have two types of out voltage which is depends on the diode direction in series circuit. These two output voltages are the same as the simple parallel clipper in the previous slide. When a DC supply is attached to the diode, the VO has same amplitude with VI, but a portion has been clipped away. We have five cases of having the biased parallel clipper. Now we are going to discuss about clampers. 
Clamper is a circuit constructed of a diode, a resistor, and a capacitor that shifts a waveform to a different DC level without changing the appearance of the applied signal. Here, these two resistor and capacitor value will determine the time constant which is tau equal to R and C. Note that, the capacitor practically having a full charges or discharges in 5 time constant. Here are the steps for examine the output for clampers. Firstly, we need to examine the response of the input signal that will forward bias the diode. Secondly, during the diode is in the on state, assume that the capacitor will charge up instantaneously. Then, during the diode is in the off state, assume that the capacitor holds on its established voltage level. Throughout the analysis, maintain the location of VO. And finally, check the total swing of the output matches that of the input. Clamping circuit has a capacitor connected directly from input to output with resistive element in parallel with output signal. Left figure shows the normal alternating square pulse supply. And the right hand side is the example of the clamper's diode configuration. Here, as the square pulse input voltage from 0 to T over 2, the diode is in the on state. Output voltage is 0 volt. Then, during the second half of the square pulse, which is T over 2 until T, the input is at negative cycle. As illustrated in top right figure, the diode off state reflected an open circuit. Then, the resistor R will be back in the circuit. As the resistor and VO is attached parallelly, the VO is equal to minus 2V. In example 15, we need to determine the VO for the circuit in figure 22. As usual the left is input voltage as VI. Right one is the circuit of the VO. Here, DC voltage is connected to the diode. As mentioned in slide 16, in step 1, we need to examine the response of the input signal that will forward bias the diode. So, to make thing happen the negative pulse is the forward biased diode. After we apply the KVL, VC is 25 volts. And the output voltage for on state is 5 volts as it is parallel to the DC and diode. For the off state, diode left the branch as open circuit. This will make the KVL as only through input source and capacitor. Output voltage is equal to 35 volts. The output voltage VO can be illustrated from the starting point of forward biased diode. On state has 5 volts as the output and 35 volts when off state. In example 16, we need to determine the VO for the circuit in the same figure 22 but with consideration of silicon diode with VK is 0.7 volts. As usual the left is input voltage as VI. Right one is the circuit of the VO. Here, DC voltage is connected to the diode. In the step one, we need to examine the response of the input signal that will forward bias the diode. So, 
to make thing happen the negative pulse is the forward biased diode. After we apply the KVL, VC is 24.3 volts. And the output voltage for on state is 4.3 volts as it is parallel to the DC and diode. For the off state, diode left the branch as open circuit. This will make the KVL as only through input source and capacitor. Output voltage is equal to 34.3 volts. As to summarize the clampers, here is the six types of the clamping circuit with ideal diodes. Top two are the diode without any attachment with DC supply. The rest four are the four condition with changing of DC supply and diode direction. The next illustration is the example of clamping circuit with sinusoidal input. With sinusoidal we need to be careful with the bottom area of the output voltage which is not the same shape with the square shape pulse input. With that, I end my lecture for this chapter 4 part 5 about the clipper and clampers. I hope that you all gained knowledge and ideas this chapter. If you have any question, please contact me at nixarifi at utem.edu.my. Okay, thank you guys for watching NMZH's channel. Hopefully, you can get um, knowledge and benefit from the videos. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.